Would you advise a friend to invest in Microsoft? Hello, my name is Seolito Rodriguez and in the next few minutes I will try to answer this question. Let's move along. Here is the agenda for this uh, short presentation. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the historical perspective of Microsoft. We will cover some aspects of the financial statements and um, try to understand how they are doing based on this important facts. We'll talk a little bit about current news about Microsoft and we'll also discuss the future of Microsoft. Th this picture shows um, back in time from October 2010 until September 2013 uh, kind of uh, like a short uh, history of the quota Microsoft and and we can see that um, Microsoft is a company that is constantly growing it's a company that uh, it's it's profitable year by year uh, obviously like any other company it has has its ups and downs and um, and I guess that that is the reality in in every company, especially the IT and software industry. But uh, overall, the matter of the fact is that Microsoft is a good company, is a profitable company, and um, an indication of this is basically the fact that uh, um, since 2010, Microsoft has been growing growing steadily and and um, and, and it's shown over here how it, uh, especially in 2013 uh, Microsoft grew considerably considered to uh, compared to you know 2010 and even in uh, 2014 which is not over here uh, the growth is more significant when looking at the financial health of a company, uh, many investors concentrate on the statement of cash flows. Um, cash is kin. Cash is what the banks and creditors take. So a company that has cash and that has a good cash flow, uh, it, this is basically a good indicator that the company is doing well. Um, so here we can see that uh, Microsoft uh, has healthy net income, um, and this is you know looking at you know 2013 and 2014. They're not doing bad; they're actually doing pretty good. Uh, if we look at net cash from operations, uh, they have also um, uh, grown from you know 20. Um, 8,833 million in 2013 as of June 30th to you know 32,231 if we look at uh, investing uh, Microsoft is constantly investing uh, whether it is in their uh, current technologies to improve them or in new technologies they are con constantly acquiring uh, new companies and um, so basically this is an indication that Microsoft uh, again is a profitable company it's a company that I believe it's worth investing but we're gonna get there um, if you look at the cash and cash equivalents then it's a company that is actually uh, very healthy profitability ratios are also key factors to determine the uh, financial he health of any company and uh, looking at the profitability ratios at Microsoft um, we see that um, uh, you know they have decent net margin percentage uh, their return on equity is actually pretty good they have a uh, good uh, asset turnover the average and uh, overall the return on invested capital it's good uh, and again so if you are an investor and you are looking into you know putting your money in a company 
obviously you're gonna look at the return on invested capital because you do want a good return on your money a and I believe that this picture gives you a very clear uh, perspective of uh, uh, whether Microsoft is or is not a good company to invest on if we are looking into a company whether it is that we are interested in knowing how they're doing or because we would like to invest in that company uh, obviously looking at the current news about the company is a very good place to start and um, we can see a couple things you know uh, Xbox um, which is one of the Microsoft uh, entertainment component is actually doing uh, very good both the the console and the Xbox Live, which is their uh, cloud-based uh, uh, software services, and and believe me, there is a lot of money in the gaming industry, and Microsoft is doing good in that segment. Uh, they're recently announced they're coming out with Windows uh, 10. Yes, Windows 10. There is no Windows 9, and I believe that Microsoft want to. Uh, recover itself from the fiasco of Windows 8 and I believe that Windows 10 is the answer so that looks very promising we're all just waiting for that um, surfaces devices among businesses are big Microsoft in, is investing a lot in 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 the tablet uh, uh, areas and uh, the service is actually coming very strong uh, Microsoft uh, Lumina will replace the Nokia brand. So Microsoft bought Nokia a couple of actually uh, not too long ago, and this is uh, the way of introducing into the mobile phone and, and uh, continue competing with players like Apple and, and Google, and Android, and you know Samsung. And um, they're not where they want to be uh, yet. But I believe that Microsoft is a very strong company and, and they will uh, soon uh, position themselves in a uh, very good place. Uh, home automation, it's uh, really big. Microsoft is also you know, getting into that, into that business with their uh, uh, Kinect and uh, Xbox One. Uh, cloud farm, uh, uh, platform system powered by Dell. So Microsoft and Dell um, kind of joined, you know, to work on, you know, this uh, CPS system. The cloud is basically the future when it comes to uh, IT services, a and Microsoft is position positioning themselves in uh, uh, a, a very good place. Uh, Windows Azure or Microsoft Azure, which is basically the new. Um, it's not relatively new. I mean, they have been doing this for quite a while. But uh, uh, again, uh, Windows Azure is the uh, cloud-based version of the traditional operating system that uh, uh, we have known Microsoft for many years. Office 365 is their cloud-based solution for Exchange Online, Link, Office, uh, and SharePoint. And, and this is huge. Um, a very huge percentage of companies use Microsoft Exchange or their uh, mail platform, and uh, they are constantly switching to Office 365. So this is really huge. Um, free Azure Cloud Computing Resources for Ebola Research. This is uh, Microsoft is basically uh, putting their effort into this cost. A and again, people look at this because Microsoft is a company that is always trying to uh, help the world to be a better place. And I believe that in a way this helps Microsoft a lot to uh, be in uh, the position, you know, where they are. The future of Microsoft is promising to be good. And, and again, that's my uh, personal opinion. But if we look at everything that's going on, uh, we read uh, ads like connected devices are the next big computing battleground. Uh, when we talked about home automation, connecting devices, Microsoft is investing a lot of money in this, uh, you know, these technologies. And again, so they are looking into the future. 
uh, Nadella is the new CEO of Microsoft. Uh, this is another um, uh, news that it's found one of the m uh, major publications. Nadella is pushing the biggest change to Windows in years. So again, uh, Microsoft is reinventing themselves and this new CEO has a lot of great ideas and, and I believe that all of that is going to be uh, it's going to have a bright future for Microsoft because of all these uh, uh, decisions and this is strategic planning. Um, we can read stuff like you know more than uh, 200 billion devices likely to be connected in the internet by 2020. Microsoft is positioning themselves to uh, to be the number one. Uh, the future is in the cloud. Well, Microsoft is investing a lot of money in cloud services. Uh, Windows, Azure, and Office 365. So, um, we can easily then uh, say that uh, the future of Microsoft it's looking good okay so I promised that this was going to be a short presentation um, so in a nutshell what do we uh, cover uh, basically the Microsoft has historically been a profitable company uh, financial statements report a healthy company um, Profitability ratios also show that Microsoft is a good company to uh, invest on. Microsoft is constantly innovating and investing in current and new technologies. And we also talked about uh, that Microsoft is investing for the future. So, would you advise a friend to invest in Microsoft? Well, as you may have guessed, the answer is yes. Thanks for watching. This is Celia Rodriguez.